Hiya, welcome to Design Your Own Equalities Flag. So, what is the Equalities Flag? Well, the Equalities Flag is a flag that's been designed to represent equal opportunities for all people. And it looks roughly like this. It's a blue flag with an equal sign in the middle, like this. It's very simple, bold colours, and the equal sign is yellow. Now there's another equalities flag that's all about marriage equality and that one looks like this. It's very similar, red flag, the equal sign is in the middle again, okay, just a different colour scheme, so it's red and pink. That's about marriage equality, so that's about equality for you, whoever you love. Now that's two versions of the equality flag and we'd really like to see your ideas for a flag that represents equality for everyone. Think about what equality means to you. What does it look like? What words and symbols might you see in your flag? Does it mean everyone equal in the world? And what does that mean? Think about people from different parts of the world, maybe. People that look different, maybe have different skin colour, different hair. Boys, girls, maybe who we love. How we look, what we think about, could be about different religions, different faiths, gender, but no matter what, at the end of the day, it doesn't matter how we look or where we're from, we're all human and we all deserve to live equal and happy lives. Hi, my name is Carleen and I work at Dulwich Library and I'm here today to talk to you about a project that we'd like you to have a go at and get involved in. Now this month we're celebrating black history and black history really is world history but it's also an interrupted history. Black people have a rich heritage of invention in, the, in maths, in the sciences, in music and in the arts and have contributed in wonderful and important ways to the world that we live in today. Unfortunately, long ago, black people were taken from their homes and sold into slavery and treated badly by white people. And sadly, this mistreatment and racism still continues today. As you may have heard about recently, Black people are still treated badly and experience violence and racism simply because of skin colour, which is not acceptable and we believe that everyone should be treated with respect and dignity, whoever we are. We should all have equal rights no matter what colour our skin is, no matter what religion or faith we belong to, no matter what gender we are, if we are boys or girls, no matter who we identify as, no matter who we love, we all deserve to be treated equally. So today we're going to be looking at that idea of equality and we're going to be doing an art and design project around that idea. And art and design can be very, very powerful. It can even change people's ideas and understanding on things and even contribute to changing the world. So let's have a look at the equalities flag, shall we? And then we'll have a think about our project. Here is the equalities flag. The equalities flag is a blue flag with a yellow equal sign in the middle. 
and this is the marriage equalities flag which has a red and pink color scheme and this is a real colorful flag this is the gay pride flag and here we have a design for a race equality flag so we've looked at the flags that already exist and some different ideas that have been tried to celebrate differences and call for equality but we want to see your ideas now you can use colour, you can use words and you can use symbols and imagery in your design to convey all sorts of different feelings, meanings and emotions. Let's have a look at some of the different kinds of imagery that are sometimes used on this kind of art project. Now you can get having a think about what you would like to use and draw your own symbols or you can use some that we, sh that we look at here. Okay, let's see. Colours can change so much about how a design works. How do you feel when you look at these colours and what do they make you think of? Here are some ideas about what colours convey in design. You can see they have very different feeling and meanings. And colours can also have different meanings in different cultures. It's really important to be aware of when you're designing your work. Have a little look at these too. Okay, I hope that's got you all thinking and I hope you're buzzing with a few ideas. Write down some thoughts now to get yourself going. Have a little think and close your eyes and imagine what your design might look like and then have a go. We'd love to see what you've got. So please do send them to us and we'll make a new video with all your ideas together so that you can come on and see what your friends across Southwark have been working on. I bet you're going to come up with some wonderful work. See you soon and good luck. Bye.